Number 8. Anastasia Pokreschok After getting her first filler injections when she was 26 years old, Anastasia Pokreschok from Kiev, Ukraine, steadily repeated the procedure until she came to be known as the woman with the largest cheekbones in the world. Pokreschok first had the fillers because she felt that she looked like a grey mouse and thought her nose was too large. It's unclear if she underwent a rhinoplasty as well, but Pokreschok opted to have the surrounding features enlarged in an attempt to achieve symmetry and balance. She ultimately developed a self-admitted obsession for facial enhancements and by 2020, when she was in her early 30s, had already lost count of all the procedures. They included having her chin and jaw reshaped as well as Botox injections in her forehead. Even though the extensive use of fillers had disproportionately enlarged her cheeks and lips, Pokreschok still felt that the former were too small. She'd even begun injecting the fillers herself. Doctors had reportedly warned the Instagram model, who boasted a following of over 270,000, about the risks associated with her obsession. Pokreschok also admitted in an interview that she'd been harassed online, but nevertheless maintained that she loved her look. Number 7. Cynthia Lizeth Vega a young Mexican woman died on October the 5th of 2021, following a failed surgery at an unlicensed clinic in her hometown of Monterrey. 22-year-old Cynthia Lizeth Vega, who worked as a waitress, had paid less than $200 for a butt lift, as well as liposuction on her arms and abdomen. Vega had reportedly been looking forward to the water lipo procedure, which she'd been planning for over a month. It consisted of tubes inserted into the target area and loosening the fat with water or saline solution prior to suctioning it away. Before heading to the Elohim Comprehensive Aesthetic Services Clinic, Vega had shared a meal with her father, who pleaded with her not to go through with the procedure. The young woman insisted and before long was on the operating table. Unfortunately, she never made it past anesthesia. Her blood pressure began to spike after the first shot and she became unresponsive. She was rushed to a local hospital where the clinic staff reportedly left her alone with her mother. Vega was pronounced dead at 9.45, only a few hours after the failed anesthesia. Local authorities reported that the clinic staff, along with its owner, Nancy Dianaira Mireles Reina, went on the run following Vega's death. The Nuevo Leon State Investigation Agency obtained a search warrant for the clinic. It was reported that Elohim Comprehensive Aesthetic Services was only licensed to provide consultation and not to carry out any surgeries. Number 6. Patience of Wesley Murakami In 2018, Brazilian doctor Wesley Murakami was sued by dozens of former patients whom he'd left disfigured for life after he'd botched their cosmetic treatments. Murakami had reportedly injected them with an excessive and dangerous amount of polymethyl methacrylate or PMMA in bioplasty procedures. According to Brazil's medical council, the synthetic resin should only be injected within the prescribed limit of 5 milliliters. Murakami not only used it in excess but also persuaded some of his patients to have the fillers in multiple areas of their faces. He didn't explain the implications of the treatment, which is deemed so risky that high street clinics in the US and UK reportedly won't offer it. Some of the affected patients believe that the injections were akin to Botox and had no idea that what Murakami was doing to the faces was permanent. Methacrylate is fluid when injected but it then becomes a hardened plastic. It's not an absorbable substance and it can cause necrosis, obstructions, embolisms and even death. The only solution to extract in case it triggers inflammation by embracing a muscle or nerve is cutting through tissue. The patients filing the suit were committed to get Murakami banned and to that end shared photos of their harrowing experiences. The images showed them with extensively swollen and deformed faces. Chronicling the struggle of adjusting to life after the botched procedures, many reported that they'd spiraled into depression and even had thoughts of self-harming. In 2014, Alexandre Garzon, then in his early 30s, wanted to get his acne scars fixed and was promised amazing results by Murakami after the injections he saw that his face was massively swollen and significantly disproportioned. Garzon was told that the swelling would go down but it never did. After years of corticosteroid treatment and hiding from his own reflection, Garzon was forced to accept that his face was irrevocably altered. Number 5. Justin Street New Jersey woman 
Cassio Rivera was sentenced to five years in prison after pleading guilty to reckless manslaughter for the 2011 death of Justin Street. Even though she wasn't a doctor and had no formal training, she'd performed a procedure meant to enlarge 22-year-old Street's external genitalia at her home in East Orange. Rivera, then in her mid-30s, had been running a fraudulent cosmetology practice out of her home. She injected silicone, which wasn't medical grade, into Street's manhood during a reported pumping party. Rivera did so even though, as stated in court by an assistant prosecutor, she had no business sticking needles into anyone, let alone in such a sensitive area. She botched the procedure and injected silicone directly into Street's bloodstream, causing an embolism that resulted in Street's organs progressively shutting down. He died the following day. In the ensuing trial, Rivera was also accused of injecting the non-surgical silicone into a woman's breasts and buttocks on four occasions. The latter charges were, however, dropped in light of her guilty plea to reckless manslaughter. Following her eventual release from prison, Rivera will potentially risk being deported to her native Jamaica. Number 4. Amber May In November of 2021, a British woman from Leicestershire talked to a media outlet about her self-admitted plastic surgery addiction and the various ways in which it had impacted her life and relationships. 23-year-old Amber May from Leicestershire had been under the knife at least eight times since 2016. The procedures included multiple breast augmentations, facial fillers, Brazilian butt lifts, and rhinoplasty, as well as several rounds of full-body liposuction. May, who claimed that she was often compared to a real-life Barbie doll, mainly funded her procedures totaling close to $100,000 through a lucrative OnlyFans profile. The young woman reported that she liked to look fake, adding that she regarded plastic surgery as a hobby and looked forward to each procedure. Her surgically enhanced curves did, however, result in some struggles because of her NN cup breasts, each of which held about 3 liters of saline solution and weighed over 18 pounds. She could no longer tie her shoes or do any running. Her look also caused rifts with family members who reportedly didn't like or condone the enhancements. Even so, May claimed that she planned on having plastic surgery indefinitely, with another breast augmentation lined up for January of 2022. Number 3. Pixie Fox 31-year-old media personality Pixie Fox, originally from Sweden, has gained attention online for undergoing at least 200 cosmetic procedures to model her appearance into that of a human cartoon in line with Jessica Rabbit and fairy-like characters. Among the most shocking of the operations was the removal of six ribs in order for her to achieve a slim, cartoonish waist. Fox made appearances on two seasons of E! Entertainment's show Botched in 2015 and 2018, in which she mentioned a few of the procedures she'd underwent. In addition to having her privates reconstructed to be like what she referred to as a baby flower, Fox claimed to be the only person to have had hair from her pubic area transferred to her eyelashes. She'd had her ears shaped to be elf-like and underwent a painful jaw-breaking procedure in South Korea that left her unable to eat or talk for a week. Surgeons had to break, shave, and reset her jawbone in order for her to achieve a coveted V-line on her jaw and a pointed chin which she believed made her look more like a cartoon superhero. Fox had also gone to India in order to change her eye color to an emerald green. The controversial procedure wasn't performed in Europe or the US due to a high risk of blindness. During her first appearance, doctors on Botched denied giving her further surgery, worried that she suffered from body dysmorphia and were similarly hesitant during Fox's second appearance in which she'd asked them to surgically lower her hairline. Number 2. Libya Dame and Alicia Gomez in 2021, a mother and daughter from California were arrested for carrying out illegal plastic surgery that resulted in the death of an aspiring adult film actress. 51-year-old Libya Dame and Alicia Gomez, aged 26, didn't perform the outlaw procedures in a medical facility but would instead take their supplies to private homes in Los Angeles County. They advertised their services under the name Latia or The Aunt and at most charged $4,500 for a butt lift that, in a professional setting, would have cost at least three times as much. A Dame and Gomez's cheaper variant was also extremely dangerous as they injected a liquid silicone mixture into the buttocks. When performing a Brazilian butt lift, 
Certified plastic surgeons will typically opt for solid implants with the injections being considered illegal and potentially deadly. The medical grade silicone may be cut with anything from window cleaner to motor oil. If it enters the bloodstream, it can attack vital organs through the formation of embolisms. 26-year-old Carissa Raj Paul had moved to California from South Africa and had sought the augmentation as part of her desire to pursue a career in the adult film industry. She'd had two procedures with Adame and Gomez at a residence in Encino and even posted a video to her social media during one of them. Raj Paul then suffered critical complications during a third procedure. A dame and her daughter called 911 but allegedly fled the scene without identifying themselves or telling the paramedics what happened. Raj Paul died in an emergency room with a coroner subsequently listing the cause of death as homicide due to acute cardiopulmonary dysfunction and intramuscular or intravascular silicone injections. A dame and Gomez were charged with murder and their case is ongoing. Number 1. Alicia Duval In 2021, glamour model Alicia Duval revealed that her addiction to plastic surgery had impaired her normal physical functions to such a degree that she needed Botox for life. Throughout the years, Duval, mainly known for her roles in reality TV, has had an estimated 360 procedures. They included butt implants, 18 breast augmentations, 11 nose jobs and having her ribs shaved down, among many others. By Duval's accounts, the surgeries cost her at least a million dollars. Her obsession for which she went to rehab on multiple occasions has produced a number of complications. In July of 2021, Duval revealed that she was stuck in a vicious circle in which she needed Botox every six months. During one of her past facelifts, surgeons had torn a facial muscle. Without Botox, the model would be left drooling as she's no longer able to keep her face lifted. In June of 2020, she was on the verge of dying after developing sepsis following a severe infection brought about by one of her allergen breast implants, which have been linked to cancer cases. One of her breasts was reportedly double the size of the other and red raw. Fortunately, she survived, but it hadn't been her only close call linked to plastic surgery. A few years earlier, in 2015, her butt implants exploded inside her body, leaking silicone in her bloodstream. Even though the incident had nearly killed her, Duval was still hesitant about removing the implants, worried about how her behind would look without them. Thanks for watching. If you could choose to have an extra body part or an extra organ, which would you choose and why? Let us know in the comments section below.